Number 76, the ion HTE- is an amphiprotic species. It can act as either an acid or a base. And then we have letter A. So letter A says, what is the Ka for the acid reaction of HTE uh, minus with H2O? Okay, so basically they're just asking for what's the Ka of HTE minus. Now, to be honest, I don't really know why this is a question because we can't really do any math or anything to solve for this. This question, finding out a Ka value, is strictly just looking in the back of a textbook or going to an appendix, looking at tables to just find out that number. So that's exactly what I did for you guys. I went and I found the uh, Ka for H-E-T-E minus. You wouldn't be able to figure out this question by doing anything else. Just look up that Ka value, and that's what letter A is. So this basically just means that HTE minus is not really acidic, right? The, the Ka value is 10 to the negative 11th. So that means that in ionization, if this wanted to act as an acid, it's not really going to. Most of this is going to be at the reactants. So as it donating a proton? Very, 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 very unlikely. Now letter B. Letter B says, okay, what's the KB for the reaction in which HTE minus functions as a base in water? So we have the Ka value of HETE minus, right? All they wanted to do is just basically convert the Ka value and A stands for acid, they wanted us to convert the Ka value to the Kb. And you can convert a Ka to a Kb by just using the formula that we know and love. It's this one right here. Ka equals, uh, actually no, not Ka, Kw equals Ka times Kb. And in this case, if we wanna solve for Kb, we wanna solve for this guy. So if I wanna get Kb by itself, all I would do is I would just divide by Ka on both sides. So just for simplicity of this video, I'm just gonna do that. So I'm just gonna say, okay, we're gonna take the Kw, divide by the Ka value, and because of that, we're gonna equal out Kb. Now the Ka value is what we just found, right, from the, uh, the charts, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 11th. And since we used a chart in the back of a textbook, that means we were at room temperature, so we should know the room temperature Kw value, W stands for water, that's always one, or one times, uh, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. So now we know the two numbers, let's just plug it in. So I'm gonna say 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by that 1.6 value to the negative 11th, and we get out our Kb value. So let's just say, okay, Kb will equal something, Calc's out. So one times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 11th, we get, uh, since our Ka value was two sig figs, let's round this to two sig figs, so 6.3 times 10 to the negative fourth. And if we just compare the two of them, since the Kb value is much greater, 10 to the negative fourth, to the Ka value, which is 10 to the negative 11th, that means that HETE minus is more likely to act as a base than as an acid. And that's all that I got for you guys here. So hopefully this helps. I think there's one uh, additional problem coming up, part C. So hang tight if you guys are on the playlist. And in the meantime, if you wouldn't mind, please press that subscribe button to help us out. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers, and that's all because of you guys. Thank you so much. I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.